Hello beautiful people, welcome back to YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Rosina Sharon. So today we are going to do the most requested video of all time. So I'm going to teach you guys how to film and edit using your Android phone. Because right now I am actually filming using my phone. So I'm going to show you all the tips I have on how to film and edit using an android phone so before you do that kindly subscribe share your thoughts on the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up with no further ado let us go straight into the video so i'm going to um, um divide this video in three segments we're going to start off with filming first and then we can move on to editing angles camera angles lighting and all that so starting off with filming tip number one always make sure your phone is on airplane mode because you don't want any disruptions while you're doing your video so make sure you have put your phone on airplane mode before you start filming so personally i use the front camera because my videos are beauty shots most of the time I want to see myself when I'm doing my video you know my makeup I want to see if my makeup on the my eye makeup is right I want to watch it while I'm doing it watch it what <laughs> I want to watch it while I am doing it so I prefer using front camera when I'm doing uh, beauty shots but the back camera uh, has um, better quality than the front camera so if you're okay with using the back camera you can go for it anytime me personally I use the front camera Hey, let me just tell you something before we proceed. This is actually the fifth time I am filming this. I have done this video like five times and each time, I don't know, I forget to add something. It's like the video is very, very um, diverse. Or rather, it's a very, very detailed video. So anytime I film, I feel like I have forgotten something. So today is actually the fifth time I am doing this. So I'll be putting in the videos I did <laughs> as we go. When it comes to filming for YouTube, let your phone be on a horizontal okay i'm going to attach a video just after this on how to um, film using our, your phone on horizontal don't do it on vertical vertical is this horizontal is this rectangle okay guys so this is what i mean when i say you put your phone on horizontal horizontal in other uh, word means landscape angle so this is the angle i'm talking about make sure your phone is steady put it on a tripod if you have a tripod use that any object you can use to make sure your phone is on steady please do that make sure your phone is steady all through the video so you don't have any movement it is going to appear very badly if you have movements in your video so make sure your phone is steady okay going to for makeup videos make sure your phone is as close to your face as possible so the detail on your face can be seen as you go make sure it is as close to your face as possible because if you put it uh far the details is not going to be seen and uh you know you want quality videos you want all the details to be seen in your videos so make sure that your camera is as close to your face as possible so you can see the angles all the details and number two very important thing you need to consider when you're going to use your phone to film is lighting lighting changes the whole view trust you me so invest in very good lighting if you're going for makeup videos makeup tutorials any beauty shots you want your face to be seen while you're you know speaking to your viewers doing something informative for your viewers kindly 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 buy a ring light a ring light is a life saver life saver not life Li life <laughs> life saver a ring light is a life saver so make sure you buy a ring light if you have a ring light especially for beauty sh for any shots if you want your face to look more natural you don't want any you know color alterations on your videos you don't want to look like you have a different color on go for the white light the white light makes sure your face is looking as natural as possible the lighting is just natural but if you go for the yellow light let me just do a yellow light for you let me uh, turn on the yellow light you can see it has changed the whole aspect of my face yeah you can see the color is different i look whiter with the yellow light so if you want to look more natural reduce the yellow light to zero and just use the white light 
and look how the white light um, portrays your face. It's more natural. If you're going to use a ring light when it comes to positioning your phone, I'd recommend you position your phone just behind the ring light. Just behind. Not in front of the ring light. Okay, in front of the ring light, the quality is still good, it, but it is, not, it is not as good as when you do it behind the ring light. And I'm going to pin a video on that as well, <laughs> so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay hey guys, so let me just show you the difference real quick. This is when you put your camera in front of the ring light. The quality is not as good as when you put your phone camera behind your ring light. Just look at that difference. Behind the ring lights, the quality is amazing. Okay guys, so still on lighting. Another thing we need to talk about is how to avoid shadows. Because most of the time, if uh, the lighting is coming towards you, you're going to have a shadow behind you. Just behind you, there is going to be a little bit of shadow. So to avoid that, you can put a lighting just next to you. So it blocks this shadow behind you i don't know if you understand me guys you can do another light just besides you to block the shadow behind you the just on filming as well make sure your background if you do not have all these fancy fancy things for youtube make sure your background is plain white that works best especially for beauty videos if you have a background that is plain white you don't want something that is going to disrupt your viewers you know a lot of things going on around your background you don't want that you want the you know your viewers to focus more on exactly what you're doing at that time so avoid so many things on your background just go for a white base it is going to be perfect for you that way so let us proceed on to how to edit using filmora go so the first thing you want to do is create a new video so go to that okay it is going to show you your camera roll so go to whichever folder you use to um, uh, record your videos so we are going to proceed on to select a video from this and uh, the video i am going for today is uh, this no this one okay so after you have selected your video go to add you are going to see a number on your um, left side of the screen. Make sure that number is there. If you have chosen one video, it's going to show you number one. If it is more than two, you're going to see the number on your left side of the video. So after you have selected the video you want to edit, go to next. Awesome. So you're going to see the video on there. So on the film more ago up. The editing tools are on your right side of your app or rather of your phone. So scroll down the right side. You're going to see first the themes, music, transition, ratio, crop. Then go to edit tools. Click on edit tools. You're going to see all the tools you need for editing down here. So the first thing you need to do to do is uh, trim your clip because most of the time when we film our videos we have excess you know before we start filming we have to do you know sometimes i sing sometimes i dance you want to crop out or rather trim out uh the videos that are not the part of the video that is not necessary so go to trim sorry trim clip there you have it so as you play your video you can just from uh, you can trim from uh, left to right at the start of the video depending on where exactly you want to edit the video so next i am going to show you how to add say a subtitle wording on your video especially when you say kindly subscribe to this video you want to write that wording subscribe and showing them exactly where you want them to subscribe at okay so what you do go to subtitle and then just play your video so exactly where you point at that is where you pause your video okay exactly where you're pointing at that exact time in period pause your video on that time then go to add you will see here tap to add subtitle so tap on that and then write the the wording you want for me i am going to subscribe 
so make sure it is in capital letters then type in subscribe there you have it so you can add your exclamations just to emphasize on that subscribe you can change the font of the subscribe to no that does not look good no that <laughs> maybe this because it's more you know it um it uh it calls for attention so you can go for that and then change color to <coughs> sorry guys change color to orange because that is how it is going to present it itself on youtube that is where the subscribe button is at where it is orange so make sure you do it in orange that is what i would advise you guys to do then click okay or rather another thing you can do when you've done that, that go down then add uh, an emoji for pointing down exactly where you want your viewers to subscribe at and make sure you put it where you you you, you put the wording where the subscribe button is at i put it on the right hand side because when you go to youtube the subscribe whatever is on the right hand side so you can uh, make sure you add the pointing emoji then click ok and then exactly where you're pointing at you see where my finger is at put it there then you can uh, do the time period the time lapse of where you want your subscribe to appear and disappear and then you can add uh, any type of uh, what is this called if you want it to appear you know in a okay guys so next i'm going to show you guys how to edit your video if you want to add more saturation to it more color to it you want it to look more you know more presentable you can go for here add just a button okay so when you go to adjust you're going to see brightness contrast saturation all that so if you want to add, add brighten brightness sorry you can go for brightness if you want to add more contrast you can go for contrast if you want to add saturation you can go for saturations and then add it on your left side you see the difference it makes on the video now you can see the saturation is more you can see the colors more please don't overdo it okay so next i want to show you guys how you can uh, work with your audio okay so one thing you you need to do is go for audio go for the audio mixer here depending on what exactly you want to do if you want your voice to be a hard a little bit more you can increase your volume to 200 so the voice if you're talking through your video you can increase your voice to 200 if you're not talking and you you, you just want to do a voice over on that make sure the background noise is at zero so reduce all this to zero first click ok and then go to voice over and then tap to record you can record the voice over you want make sure the background is at zero first before you do that before you do your voice over then you can tap on voice over and then yeah you will hear yourself you know you can talk whatever you want to talk after that then click ok so so this is the video we're going for yeah so now you want to show your makeup look you want to do it in you know the speed to be a little bit slower so the look can be seen and all that so what to do if you want to change you know the speed of your video so down here go for speed so you can see the speed just play the video up until the area you want to do the slow-mo so let us say starting from here pause it there then go for slower you can see eh? the video is a bit slower on this side you can go for slow-mo up until the point where you want the slow-mo to stop and then go back to normal okay. so if you want to add an audio at the background of your youtube video scroll up a little bit go for music you can see the music here then add music okay you can go to my library if you have a music from your library you want to share you know you, you want to do the background as uh, that music you can go for my library but youtube is very very strict when it comes to copyright claims so please do not go choosing somebody's song to your video go for 
songs that are not copyrighted okay filmora has a bunch of songs you can choose from i normally go for this you can uh, um, you can listen to it yeah i normally go for that so what you do after you have chosen the audio you want to um, run as your background click ok so choose the time where you want the audio to start if you want to, the audio to start from here up until here you can choose whichever because me i want to, the audio to play it uh, to play all through the video i just go for the whole video and then i click ok so after this please please after you have done the audio part click ok because the audio is normally very very loud go back to audio mixer okay and make sure because most of the time your voiceover is going to be on the video so make sure you have reduced the volume of the music the background music to around five percent because most of the time it and then you can click okay that is uh, your audio is good to go so now if you want to add a transition to your video go for transition where there is a plus sign click on that okay now you have a bunch of uh, things you can select from if you want it to bounce where's the bounce see there you go you can see the transition there amazing amazing especially when you want to show now the final look you can go for a transition and that is it guys very very easy to use then click ok so after you're done editing your video you can go for now after you you've done 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 editing your video you want to save your video go to save you're going to see the saving project So that would be it for me today so i am living with the app name here this is filmora go you can get it on uh, your play store it is very very free you can download it for free and then after you're done editing your video you're saving your video so now when you post on youtube you can crop or rather trim out the watermark at the end because filmora go usually does the watermark at the end of the video so you can trim out that part when you're uploading it on youtube okay very very easy to use i hope it has been informative enough for you you're going to learn something from this video and i hope you get the courage to start doing youtube go create this amazing content guys thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you on my next video and uh, please 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 remember to subscribe see you on my next video guys thank you so much for watching bye